The air we breathe is essential for life. It fills our lungs with the oxygen we need to survive and thrive. But we often forget its importance. We don't see it, and we don't always think about it. We don't always feel it. Yet, it sustains us every single day, providing the breath of life. But the air is not always clean. Sometimes it carries harmful substances that we can't see with the naked eye. Invisible pollutants can harm us, affecting our health in ways we might not immediately notice. This is where the Air Quality Index, or AQI, comes in. It serves as a vital tool in understanding the quality of the air around us. The AQI is like a report card for the air. It grades the air quality, letting us know how clean or polluted it is. It tells us how much pollution is in the air we breathe, providing crucial information for our well-being. It uses a simple number system, making it easy for everyone to understand. A low AQI means the air is clean, safe for outdoor activities and daily routines. A high AQI means the air is polluted, posing potential health risks, especially for vulnerable groups. Understanding the AQI is crucial. It helps us make informed decisions about our health and daily activities. It helps us take necessary precautions, like wearing masks or using air purifiers to protect ourselves and our loved ones. We can choose to stay indoors on bad air days, ensuring that we breathe cleaner air. We can wear masks to protect ourselves from harmful pollutants when we need to go outside. The AQI empowers us to take charge of the air we breathe, making informed choices for a healthier life. The AQI, or Air Quality Index, is a crucial tool that measures different pollutants in the air. It helps us understand the quality of the air we breathe. These pollutants come from various sources, both human-made and natural. Cars, factories, and even natural events like dust storms contribute significantly to air pollution. Each source adds different types of pollutants to the air. Some key pollutants measured by the AQI include particulate matter, or PM2.5, and PM10. These particles are so small that they can be inhaled deeply into our lungs. These tiny particles can penetrate deep into our lungs, causing various health issues, including respiratory and cardiovascular problems. Ozone, or O3, is another harmful pollutant. It is a gas that can damage our airways and make it difficult to breathe, especially for those with asthma or other respiratory conditions. Nitrogen dioxide, or NO2, is a gas that can irritate the lungs and contribute to the formation of smog, which is harmful to both our health and the environment. Sulfur dioxide, or SO2, is another dangerous gas. It can cause respiratory problems and also leads to the formation of acid rain, which can damage plants, buildings, and aquatic life. The AQI converts the concentration of these pollutants into a single number, making it easier for the public to understand the overall air quality. This number is a simple way to communicate how clean or polluted the air is, and what associated health effects might be a concern for the public. Each pollutant has a different health impact, affecting various parts of the body and different segments of the population, such as children and the elderly. The AQI considers these impacts when calculating the final index value, providing a comprehensive overview of air quality and its potential health risks. Air pollution is a silent killer. We may not see it, but it can have serious consequences for our health. Breathing polluted air can lead to a range of health problems. One of the most dangerous pollutants is PM2.5. These tiny particles can penetrate deep into our lungs. They can even enter our bloodstream. This can cause respiratory problems, heart disease, and even cancer. Children are particularly vulnerable to the effects of air pollution. Their lungs are still developing. They breathe more air per pound of body weight than adults. Air pollution can have long-term impacts on their health. Governments use the AQI to monitor air quality, which is a crucial tool in assessing the levels of various pollutants in the air, and take action to protect public health. This is especially important for vulnerable groups like children and the elderly. When the AQI reaches unhealthy levels, indicating high pollution, governments may implement measures to reduce pollution. These measures are designed to quickly lower pollution levels. These measures can include restricting vehicle traffic, implementing odd-even schemes, 
which limit the number of cars on the road based on their license plate numbers, or limiting the number of vehicles on the road. This helps to reduce emissions from vehicles. Closing schools and offices can reduce exposure to outdoor air pollution, ensuring that people stay indoors where the air is cleaner, encouraging public transport by promoting the use of buses, trains, and other forms of public transportation is another measure. This reduces the number of private vehicles on the road. Implementing industrial regulations is also essential. Enforcing stricter emission standards for factories and industries can significantly cut down on pollutants released into the air. Regular inspections and the use of advanced pollution control technologies are crucial steps in this process. By monitoring the AQI and taking timely action, governments can respond quickly to rising pollution levels. These efforts can lead to a noticeable improvement in air quality, making the environment healthier for everyone and protect the health of their citizens. Cleaner air means a better quality of life and a healthier future for all. Diwali, the festival of lights, is a time of celebration in India. However, the fireworks and firecrackers often lead to a spike in air pollution in Delhi. The city is already grappling with high pollution levels. Diwali exacerbates the situation. However, this year, Delhi experienced a welcome change. The air quality in the city was significantly better than in previous years. While the AQI did rise in the days following Diwali, it remained within the moderate range. Several factors contributed to this improvement in air quality. One of the most significant factors was the weather. Warmer temperatures and strong winds helped to disperse pollutants. The improvement in Delhi's air quality this year is evident when we compare the AQI levels with previous years. Year Diwali Day, AQI. Week after Diwali, AVG, 2021, 462, severe, 380, very poor, 2022, 327, very poor, 300, very poor, 2023, 180, moderate, 150, moderate. As the data shows, there has been a significant reduction in AQI levels this year. This improvement is a positive sign. It suggests that efforts to control pollution are starting to yield results. Weather plays a crucial role in determining air quality. Wind, temperature, and rainfall can all influence the concentration of pollutants in the air. This year, Delhi experienced favorable weather conditions that contributed to cleaner air during Diwali. Strong winds helped to disperse pollutants, preventing them from accumulating in the atmosphere. Warmer temperatures also played a role. They facilitated the upward movement of pollutants. While we cannot control the weather, understanding its impact on air quality can help us to better predict and manage pollution levels. The improvement in Delhi's air quality this Diwali is encouraging. However, it is important to remember that this is just one data point. We need to sustain these efforts throughout the year. Addressing Delhi's air pollution problem requires a multi-pronged approach. We need to reduce emissions from vehicles, industries and other sources. We also need to promote public transport, encourage the use of cleaner fuels, and raise awareness about the importance of air quality. Sustaining the gains we have made will require a collective effort. Everyone has a role to play in ensuring clean air for all. Clean air is a fundamental right. It is essential for our health and well-being. The improvement in Delhi's air quality this Diwali shows that change is possible, but we cannot afford to be complacent. We need to continue to monitor air quality, implement effective pollution control measures, and adopt sustainable practices. We need to work together to ensure that everyone can breathe clean air. Our health, and the health of future generations, depends on it. Let us all do our part to create a cleaner, healthier future for Delhi.